此时双方互有胜负，不过我认为他们接下来会越变越精彩的。没想到才十几分钟，拜登的电量就不足了，开始宕机了。Thank you, President Biden, President Trump. 一个八十一岁的老头还要为了美国这么拼命，真的难为拜登了。特朗普看到拜登快死机了，也回了一句。He's right. He did beat Medicare. He beat it to death, and he's destroying Medicare. 也就是从这个时候开始，拜登的辩论明显处于下风了。好几次自己都不知道自己在说啥，甚至拜登自己都把自己说破防了。My son was not a loser. Was not a sucker. You're the sucker. You're the loser. 特朗普帮拜登澄清了。说这不过是一个三流杂志的谣言，但是马上特朗普又爆了一个大瓜。Our veterans and our soldiers can't stand this guy. They can't stand him. They think he's the worst commander in chief, if that's what you call him, that we've ever had. They can't stand him. So let's get that straight. And they like me more than just about any of them. And that's based on every single bit of information. 话说，咱们辩论就辩论，别搞人身攻击。特朗普这几句话把拜登给气炸了。我们看看当时拜登的表情。As far as Russia and Ukraine, if we had a real president, the president that knew that was respected by Putin. 接下来的话题是俄乌战争。我总结了一下，特朗普的态度是这样的：我在位的话，他们永远不敢入侵乌克兰，就像以色列永远不会被哈马斯入侵一样。可是拜登干了四年，全世界都在爆炸。特朗普还表示自己会在当上美国总统前解决俄乌战争。说真的，这话是我，我也会说，反正没法证实，也不用负责任。拜登的回答是：好了，以上这些内容就是拜登和川普辩论前面一部分的内容。大家感兴趣的话，多多点赞，我抓紧时间做下半部分。